Hi everybody. So I'm finally doing it. <laughs> the big adventure I've been talking about for a few weeks now. So I'm doing my first solo overnight camp trip. I'm doing it in the car. I'm actually happened to be very fortunate this week that I have a 2021 Ford limited edition expedition SUV. My car happens to be in the shop and this is what they gave me at the rental company. So I'm not going to complain. It's quite spacious. I'll show you around. So there, it's like a, let's say three, six, eight, eight passenger vehicle. And everything's pretty much computerized on this vehicle. So just press all the buttons and all the seats go down and so I have more I'd say almost a queen size bed in here I, I have my three inch foam mattress the foldable one that I've brought from home and I have my winter um, what is it called my winter sleeping bag it's lined it's a Coleman and then I've got these awesome flannel um, bed sheets for my bed, which I brought. I also happen to bring my queen size duvet, which is extremely warm and it's goose down, so I don't think I will get cold at all. And a couple other little blankets. My trusty sidekick here is Kira. Say hello. <laughs> Already snuggled up in uh, bed so we decided to come a little bit later just so we could just pull in and find a spot. Uh, Cobb Lake it's just outside of Van Der Hoof, about an hour and ten minute drive for me. Uh, I was here a couple of weeks ago ice fishing and noticed the campsite and looked up the information and it's actually a free campsite. It does not close, the gates do not close here so it's open all year round. Uh, so I had an opportunity to walk around this campsite and look at what is here. And it happens that there's, I believe, 21, 22 sites here and I've got the whole campground to myself. So the only thing I have to worry about is all the bears are sleeping. Coopers might be out, but it's a bit cold. It's minus 23, which is a little bit warmer than what it has been the last couple of weeks here. We were down to about minus... 37 I think the cold is and it's my first couple days off so I really wanted to do this and what can I say it's quite cozy I looked at a lot of YouTube uh, winter camping and car camping uh, videos before I decided to do this so I've you know took all the information that I learned from the fellow YouTubers and I'm using that and I think uh, Chase can't remember his last name. Uh, I do follow him. He had said heat up the car as warm as possible and turn on all the heaters ahead of time so it gets really warm in there so when you do settle down uh, you've got some heat already inside your blankets. So I've done that. The car was running for the last hour while I was driving and it. I had it at high heat so and I think having Kira my little sidekick she's kind of a heating blanket herself so that should keep us warm uh yeah i feel perfectly safe i can't really show you but there's like a million stars out there absolutely beautiful so i'll show you in the video in the morning but this is kind of my setup right now i did bring a whole bunch of things just some basic necessities for the morning we'll see how it is and um brought some stuff to build a fire if I need a fire but I also have my little stove and things to make a uh, light breakfast in the morning so I'm really looking forward to this oh I gotta show you this this is my dollar store little LED can't really see it lantern it kind of hangs so it hangs on the hooks here that's on the SUV and gives so much light so I brought it good book with me to read for a little while before I fall asleep it's uh what time is it now let me just take a look 
It's about 8.30, so it's pretty early, but because it's so dark here, it's so quiet. You don't hear one sound. I'll probably fall asleep pretty soon. I can feel a little bit of chill in the air now, sort of just passing over, but I don't expect to get cold of anything maybe in the morning, but I don't think inside our blankets and sleeping bags that uh, I'll get cold at all. So I'm really excited to be doing this. I know a lot of people are like, what are you doing out in the woods, a woman by yourself camping? Well, I am in my car. I, I made sure that my vehicle is facing towards the road, so if I do have to drive out of here quickly, I can. I'm pretty confident that the night should go well, so I'll update you in the morning. Good night.